Digital noise can quickly ruin a beautiful shot, but with the powerful noise removal tools in DaVinci Resolve, you can easily rescue footage that might have ended up on the cutting room floor. Before we start, it's important to know that the noise removal tool is only available in the studio version of Resolve. In DaVinci Resolve, there are two ways to apply noise reduction on the color page. The first is noise reduction in the Open Effects library. To find it, open the Effects panel, search for noise reduction, and then add it to an empty node. The second and more traditional method is through the Motion Effects panel. To find it, select the furthest icon to the right of the primary adjustment area. Both methods will produce the same parameters, but the Motion Effects panel integrates noise reduction directly within the active node. If you apply it from within the effects panel, you must add the effect to a specific node. I also recommend applying noise reduction to the first node at the beginning of your grade. This helps reduce noise before you add other color adjustments, which could potentially amplify noise and make it harder to remove. Given the nature of digital noise, there's no universal setting that you can use, since each clip and each camera will have different noise characteristics. However, I'll break down how each setting works and explain the parameters so you can understand exactly how to use them. Temporal noise. In our example, we'll use the traditional motion effects panel as we run through these settings. Temporal noise reduction works by analyzing frame to frame data and isolating noise from detail across multiple frames. Be sure to check the reference in the preview monitor to see how different settings reduce noise. Luma threshold reduces noise in the brightness channel. Setting it too high can lead to plastic or smoothed out details. Chroma threshold reduces color noise, which often appears as splotches of color. Increasing this can clean color noise without affecting sharpness nearly as much. This is useful for more damaged media forms with very obvious chromatic noise artifacts. The effectiveness of this process depends on the adjustable settings, which are frames one through five, Selecting more frames allows Resolve to understand the consistent parts of the image better, which increases accuracy. However, higher frame counts require more processing power and can create motion blur artifacts in fast-moving scenes. Start with a setting of two to three frames and add more if the noise remains persistent. Underneath frames is motion estimation type. This setting impacts how DaVinci Resolve interprets movement in your footage. Options for this setting include faster, which is less accurate, but results in quicker processing and is ideal for shots with minimal motion. And better, the most accurate, providing high quality results at the cost of significant processing. Use this for complex scenes with noticeable motion and noise. The secondary parameter is motion range. Adjusting the motion range tells Resolve how much movement to expect. Use a smaller range for footage with subtle motion to reduce artifacts. A high motion range suits more dynamic scenes, but can soften fine details. Let's look at how spatial noise reduction differs from temporal noise reduction. Spatial noise reduction focuses on individual frames, analyzing and smoothing out noise on a per pixel basis. Note that the luma threshold and chroma threshold options from the temporal noise section are also available here and they function in the same way as in the spatial noise section. The radius defines the area of pixels analyzed for noise. From the drop down menu, there are three options, small, medium, and large. A larger radius can effectively smooth out high frequency noise, but may produce soft or blurred edges. A smaller radius preserves detail, but may not be able to handle noise quite as effectively. Aim for a moderate radius to keep fine details while reducing gradients. DaVinci Resolve also provides four spatial noise reduction modes to work within the radius, and each one has a distinct approach. Faster works for low noise footage and is less processor intensive, but may not provide adequate reduction for high noise shots. Better is a balance of quality and speed, which works for most use cases. Enhanced is ideal for tackling challenging high ISO footage, though it comes with a heavy processing cost. Ultra NR is the highest setting available and should only be used to save the noisiest footage. That's because the results often produce extreme smoothing, which doesn't always look great. On the right side of the motion effects panel, we also have a motion blur setting that adds artificial motion blur into your footage. For this video, we can just go ahead and ignore that. 
One final thing to keep in mind is that noise reduction is very intensive and can often prevent real-time playback if your system isn't powerful enough. Because of that, we recommend applying noise reduction once your edit is finalized and you're almost ready to render. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Then head over to storyblocks.com for unlimited downloads of royalty-free 4K footage, customizable templates for DaVinci Resolve, music, and more.